Welcome to the History Hunter and I hope you're all good. Yeah, welcome to the History Hunter. Me and my daughter out. We're gonna find something pretty unique up here. We're gonna find an area where there was a minefield and hopefully we'll be able to share some small moments with you out here today. So today it's all about this. What are we looking for, girl? We're looking for a German S minefield and perhaps something else from the same area. Yeah, German S minefield. That's what you see here. Different kinds of feature. You have like one detonator in the middle, a couple of sticking up there. One of these, we found a lot of these and this is another type. So German S minefield and hopefully we'll be able to find out where it was and if there's something there even today. That's what it's all about. German World War II minefields. This is the warning that there would be on a local uh, minefield area where there could be farmers or people walking around and they would sh put them up in a combat situation on the beaches and stuff like that. Most probably you wouldn't see that. So that was basically to protect the locals for entering fields or forest areas or things like that. But we're gonna find out if there is something left from that minefield that was right here. And we're gonna just dig a little bit around in the forest area, in the forest ground, and hopefully we could find pieces from just that minefield right here. To help us out today, we have the macro multi cruiser fantastic versatile sturdy and waterproof machine i'm just loving it it has so many different kinds of levels to play with even for the amateur or the very very professional i'm probably just an amateur so i i just like the easy settings and it's so predictable and so reliable so i just really enjoy that you have the nocta pointer to go into um, the ground and um, you know look for the small details and we have a couple of uh, spades so that's what's going to help us out today. We're also using the sniper coil, which is very good to get hold of the small, small items. And some of the mine detonator items are actually pretty, pretty small. So let's start this hunt and see if we can share something with you. Always exciting to be on uh, locations that could have things from the past. And this is no exception. Glad to be here with my daughter. She's been traveling a lot, so I'm very happy that she's here with me and uh, we have a good time out here in the forest sharing some moments. And of course we share with all of you and that's the biggest pleasure of all. And uh, I just want to have the opportunity to say thank you for all of you people out there watching, subscribing, commenting and supporting our work. We do really, really appreciate that. A huge and massive thank you to all my Patreon and PayPal supporters. Without you, a lot of this couldn't have taken place. So really, really happy for that. Got a bit spooked. It was a fox or something running by here. So you have to probably use the smaller digging tool. Let's take away the roots. Somewhere down there. Careful. Up here. There it is. Let's see what that is. No? Oh, look at that. That's the adjusting screw for one of the uh, detonators. Here are some of the screws you can see here. They come in different configurations. They are the screws that are on the top of the detonator for arming, arming purposes. So they're pretty cool to find and uh, just a small detail I want to show you. That's one little piece one step for me no sorry but that's actually one of the small pin screws for the detonators so we're on the right track at least so a lot of effort for almost nothing <laughs> seems like my daughter oh what's the tone signal 60 back and forth 70 plus that's a good one okay we're gonna do i down here just gonna make a plug like this go in a little circle what is that is that a smashed up uh, cartridge I'm not sure are there more take the detector and check that's strange if that's the only one when it cleaned up looks like this it's actually a cap 
a screwing cap that you um, put on the bottom. So we have one of the detonators here. That's a screwing cap in uh, Bakelite. And that is for transportation causes. You see this here on the bottom here. You screw it in. Before you screw it in, you have to take off this cap. And uh, this detonator bottom here has got that cap still. So uh, quite nice. So we might find more of these out there. Oh, there it is. That one. Ah, it's another one of the small adjusting screws for the uh, the detonators. Now we're just missing a detonator itself. Hold that, please. I'm gonna. Check out the hole again. Wait, there is more. Where is that? There's something here. Oh, there's another one. 3040 signal. Definitely something there. Let's see if we can make it a live dig here. My daughter is cleaning up the last find there and we actually, oh, what is that? Ooh, nice. Oh, it broke. That's a piece of a fuse. And that's a piece of the hand grenade fuses. Wow, cool. Low on battery, cool. There's a little piece, actually belongs to a German potato masher hand grenade uh, inside here. And you got this thing here. That's what it looks like, complete. And it's a Sunta 939. And uh, just a small detail, but I think these details are very cool. That tells us a little bit about the um, position here and who knows what they used that for. This is just my daughter in a nutshell. Um, she is on top of, look at me, look at this. Is that what we think it is? Yeah, look here. That's a railroad track uh, piece. What's that called? A uh, railroad track wood plank, whatever. Right there. Probably used to make uh, some kind of construction foxhole, whatever. And right down here, it was here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you turn around? So let's have a look at it. That is amazing. That is just typical my daughter. Uh, if you turn around like this, oh my god, just hold it very steady. I'll zoom in so they can have a look at it. See that? Oh my god, <laughs> that is amazing. How come you are so lucky? Was it just right on the surface there? Yeah, underneath the moss. Yeah, let's, let's try a little bit more with the detector right here, okay? So, nice one. There you can see actually some kind of uh, thread there. Um, I cleaned it up. That is a beautiful little button, damaged in some way. And that makes it pretty interesting, I think. You can see here some of the details. Uh, this one here, he has also recently found. Very, very nice Kriegsmarine button. So, lucky girl. Nice one. It was, was it P162? Mm -hmm. For, did you see the date? No. no, we figured it out. German Mauser rifle or a machine gun cartridge being spent up here. Green color in the back. The code and the date is everything there. Everything matches up with the German activity. Very nice. Now the small signal here. I think it rang out a 40 something. Is that another steel thing? Oh, what is that? Hey, that is cool. Oh, are you kidding me? Check that out. Wow, look at that. That is a piece of coal that the Germans used to heat up their barracks, their bunker positions, their trenches. Wow, that's the first here. That is very interesting. Now we know for sure that the Germans were around here and who knows what else that could be down here. So maybe we found the proof of uh, the minefield. Let's see if my daughter can take it out very carefully. You just have to use your fingers. Wait, wait, wait. You have to push it this way. V yeah, very gently. Take it out very gently. That's a... Uh, 
S mine detonators. It has even got the prongs there, at least one of them. It is in really, 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 really bad condition. But let me take out the uh, photos here and we'll show you precisely what that is. All right, this piece here is actually the center piece. It's not that easy to see. This is one of the prongs that you can see on the top. It had three. So if you take the pin pointer, you will definitely, well, maybe get a signal for the rest, but, oh, it's turned off. But that is the proof of the German S mine field here. Very nice. Let's see if we can find another one. We got something here, right there. What is the number? 74. 74. So let's see if we can pinpoint it with the pinpointer here. And let's start a little live dig for you here. Yeah, it's just right here. Okay. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. My daughter found a button and a cartridge and a beautiful, not beautiful, but a mine detonator. Who knows what could be down here? Is that one under there? I think it is. Oh, there we are. Easy, easy. I think it's right there. If it is, there, 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 there. Wow. See that? It's got two of the prongs. You see that? Take the pinpointer down and see if you get a small signal there. Then this is the last prong. Yeah. There's probably a very, very thin metal piece. And that's the third prong. And yes, we did find the minefield. Wow. I'm going to show you a little bit more about these and what they are and what they're for. Is there more in there? Yeah, there's something there. Take it out and see what's down there. Be careful, it could be, could be another one. No, th there's the, I could see the prong. There, that's the one. See that? Yeah, that's the, that's the third prong. Oh, just loving it. And on the side here, well, I'm going to show you that. There could be the date there. Nice one. Good one, daughter. Very nice. 86, 87. Let's go down and see if we can get that one. It's probably down here somewhere. Oh, there's a huge root, so you have to check on each side of the root then. Oh. Is, that, is that one? It's there. It's there. Can you see it? Yeah, let's see if we can get it out without the prongs going destroyed. Is that the back side of it? Very careful. Let's see if it has three prongs. I think it could have. One. How many are there? Two. Ah, no. A yeah, short one. Is it down there? But we found the proof of the German. Um, minefield that is really really interesting and now we have th three of them so we're really really happy with that German S mine detonator straight back from the past and we're so glad we can share it with all of you out there I want to say again a huge thank you to all my Patreon and PayPal supporters and you have to check out my um, giveaway videos that I have in the beginning of each month you can see I give away a lot of my artifacts like this and other pieces to my faithful supporters and uh, check out those videos and how it works becoming a patron and PayPal supporter and you can help out in the work we do and at the same time you can end up having a beautiful piece from the past on your wall in your living room or whatever so check out the possibility to become a, a supporter Wow, a even better confirmation of the minefield. Look at that, a beautiful brass uh, side detonator for the S mine and other mines. This one also has some date and codes on the side. Wow, this is getting so cool. Look where we are, just in the middle of absolutely nowhere, finding pieces from the past, sharing with you. What could be better? Well, it's raining, but who gives a crap? So, my friends, did we find what we came for? The German minefield. Was it there? Yes. Why are all these pieces there? 
both because they installed the minefields and they took it away after the war and we couldn't tell the difference but some of them are actually as they were when they installed them and some of them are looking uh, you know how they looked when they just discarded them after the war taking away the mines so who knows but definitely yes we found it we found the detonators cartridges uh, transportation caps the screw things everything is there to prove that the german activity was real and the germans had a minefield there we even found something really spectacular that is in there but that's going to be a totally new story um first i want to say a huge thank you to my beautiful daughter who squeezed in some time to go with his old dad and have a little adventure out there then i want to say a huge thank you to all of you beautiful kind people out there watching commenting subscribing and if you're not a supporter already to support our work well please check out the possibility to become either a patreon or donate to the paypal you can find the links in the description and watch my giveaway videos in the beginning of each month and you can see a little bit more about what it is that i do for my supporters so nevertheless beautiful little adventure there will be more from this location coming up and some excitement when we find that so please just keep subscribing, commenting, watching, sharing. We will appreciate it. And thanks again to my beautiful supporters out there. Stay safe, keep smiling, and we'll see you later.